In this video, I'm gonna show you how to print from your iPad. So this is a um, built-in feature into the iPad. Here I got my iPad Pro. It's on the case, but it doesn't need to be like that. You don't need the case to do this. Uh, so here's, here's my iPad. I'm gonna just keep it on this case and show you what it's like to print from, here's my printer. Uh, in order to do this, you need a printer that's on the network. So let's see, here's my printer. It is low on ink right now, but it is connected to the wireless and you gotta make sure you have something that's connected to a network in order for this to, to work. So just gonna start off by showing you some different features. So um, here's the iPad home screen. I'm gonna go into a Word document and show you what a print is like. You're gonna tend to wanna look for those share or for the three dots for more features. In this case, it's in the more features section. So clicked on that and you could see the print right there. You're gonna have some different options to print, but I'm just gonna show you air print. That's the built-in print feature. And what it's gonna do is it takes a second to find a printer on your network if that's not there. You click here, you should see the printers listed. Um, and then you're gonna have some, some different settings you could choose from that you can uh, preset, but we're gonna leave that for now. You're gonna get to choose the number of copies you want. We'll do one copy, whether you want it black and white, double-sided, and what paper size you want. Not, this won't always be there for every type of printing you wanna do, but on this app for this printer it is. Media and quality. You just hit print. I'm getting a warning. The printer is low on ink. And we'll get that going. And because this printer is connected, it's received the, the command and now it's printing. And there is my instruction set for this video. So in this case, for this app, Microsoft Word, you're gonna click on the three dots for more options and then select print and follow the rest of the steps to print. Okay, let's take a look at another app to see how it might differ. Uh, I'm gonna go to, uh, let's go to uh, Keynote. So this is an Apple app. It's another productivity app, could have done PowerPoint, but I just wanna show you the same thing. And here we're gonna go to the three dots and print, same thing. Now we have a pre-option pre of how we want the slides to show up. This is for slides and, uh, and presentations. And we go to next and here we've got similar, a whole bunch of settings. Now we also have the option to choose an orientation at the bottom here and the page range. So it's just called range on this app. And we can start from whichever page we want and whichever page we want. Or we could do it custom where we go on the sidebar and select only certain pages. And if we went to print that, it would come out the printer as well. I'm not gonna print this one. So again, in this app, we're looking for the three dots, then the print option, and then print after we select our settings. Uh, I just wanna show you another app. So maybe we'll go to Safari. So that's the internet. Of course, here we're on a web page. Uh, this is the actually the how to use your iPad web page. So in this in this app, there is no um, three dots, but like I said, we're gonna look for that share button. So that's up here. So once you go up to here, you're gonna see some options as you scroll down and one of them is print. So these are the share options and all the same options as what we've seen before the page range, which pages you want included in this. So you could take those off and you could see it's customizing the range. And then you'd go to print when you're ready. And most apps will tend to work like this. If there is a print uh, feature, you're gonna look under the share. So for most apps, you're gonna be looking for that share button. It's that little square with the arrow coming out of it. Then you're gonna scroll down to print and then you're gonna follow the rest of the options there until you're satisfied for the print. So now I'm gonna try the mail app. So this is mail and here's a message that I received from the website and what we're gonna do this time, there's no share, there's no 
three dots. So it's actually in a weird place for this one. It's under the, um, the forward reply. So click that. That's where all the share options are. And sure enough, print is here, all the way hidden at the bottom. Wish it was easier to find this one. For some reason, it's it's not, but that you go to the print and same all the same options as before for printing an email. And unfortunately, it's a little bit harder to find in mail. So for mail, you're gonna look for that arrow at the bottom of a message. Click that for more options and scroll down to print and then follow the rest of the steps until you can print. Once you've selected the print option in most apps, you have the option to select a printer. Um, you can choose the printer, rename it. You can select how many copies you'd like, which is great if you need multiple copies for multiple people, for example. You can select which pages you wanna print, either by selecting the sidebar or using the from to selector. You can keep color on or turn it black and white and choose double-sided or single-sided and select your paper size as well. And finally, depending on the printer and app, there may be some additional settings, including media and quality shown here. Thanks for joining us on the Tech Coach and Tech It Easy.